99 cents a dozen. October 5th on the milk. And our milk is 98 cents a gallon. A successfully a successful day and I just wanted to come in here and say that I am well I shopped for about eight days because I bought a new refrigerator and I didn't want to do a whole month's worth of grocery shopping and then have to convert everything out of the refrigerator into the new fridge and freezer and so um but my fridge should be here and delivered on the 26th of this month so instead of a whole month grocery haul this is only for about seven or eight days so um i just wanted to share that with you guys so i'm going to show you guys my uh total right there is my total and i know you guys like to see my receipt it's so hard to do all right so hopefully that's helpful for those of you that have requested to see my receipt so the first thing i got was fish sticks or uh the fish fillets the funny thing about the fish sticks is is i got asked how many do you think we need and i'm like just grab a couple so we got fish sticks and fish fillets and we have two more over here as well so this is actually um this is actually beer battered cod we bought that on a whim the other day and it was really really good some more fish sticks okay so we got some uh, Swiss cheese because I'm going to be making my uh, Philly steak uh, sandwiches. And we got some ground turkey in there that I buy pretty much every time I go to the store. I got some Mexican style cheese because we're going to be doing fajitas. I haven't made fajitas in a long while. Got some frozen french fries. These are the crinkle cuts. A chuck roast for the uh, Phillies. I love their chuck roast. Really affordable, really delicious. Two packages of boneless, skinless chicken breast. Usually I go to Kroger, but just to avoid having to go to two stores because of busy, busy schedules, um, I just went ahead and just bought the chicken there. And then I bought two Caesar salad kits. You guys know that I absolutely love these salad kits. They are very convenient, but they are also very, very delicious. We've got some hamburger buns. Um, I've been requested to make some Sloppy Joes, and I haven't made Sloppy Joes in a long while, so I decided I'm going to do that. The hoagie rolls or sub rolls are for the, um, for the fillies. Got some onions. I got some apples. These were on sale. They were, were pretty good price. I honestly think they charge way too much for apples in all the grocery stores, but still, nevertheless, it's that time of year when they're really good, and I, I'll enjoy them. Three green peppers. And this is the first time I've ever seen them put the green peppers in a bag. Usually, they have them wrapped, so that's new. And I've got some veggie chips. We got veggie straws and we got the veggie chips as well. I love these. These are really, really good. And I think if you're going to buy chips, um, this might be a little bit of a healthier alternative, although still not completely dietary. Three dozen eggs. I showed you guys in the video when we were in the store how much eggs were. They're very inexpensive at Aldi. Two things of biscuits. Now, the biscuits I bought because uh, when I went to the flea market, what was it, last weekend or the weekend, not last weekend, but the weekend before, um, there is a couple that sells uh, country biscuit ham um, and they, um, you know, fix it themselves and all that. And I bought three packages of the biscuit uh, ham and so I thought that would be really good either for breakfast or even uh, breakfast for dinner. We got some uh, sour cream for the fajitas. Grab spaghetti one night, and you guys know I love the whole wheat pasta. I bought a couple things of granola. This is one of them, and then I bought the box granola as well. 
because we uh, went into Costco and purchased a few things and um, we like to put a little bit of granola on top of our um, yogurt. It's really, really good and it's very filling. Got some instant mashed potatoes. I bought four of these, um, let's see, what are these? Cheddar, broccoli, and these are like rice uh, things. They don't take very long to make. So we got a gallon of milk, really good price. I wanted to get two, but we didn't uh, because we were afraid we wouldn't have enough room in the refrigerator time it was all said and done. We got a chili seasoning packet because I'm gonna do a chili and I'm also gonna do some cornbread. We can do, I got some saltines. Um, we got this to try, I've never bought this before. I think it is pronounced a broche, but I don't know, you guys can tell me if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Is it a broche or a brioche? Is it a brioche? Vanilla and cream, anyways, it just looked really, really good and I thought that would be really, really nice with some coffee or tea. Um, got some flour tortillas. This here is green beans and peas. Uh, just to stock up extra this will go over um, you know seven or eight days but every time I go to Aldi's I always stock up on canned food um, I've got my salsa here I am absolutely in love with this mango salsa it is so delicious it is fantastic um, I got a evaporated milk which is right here and then um, two tomato soups because I use tomato soup in my chili and then the extra thing that I bought that I don't normally buy is this Progresso um, actually it's not even is it Progresso brand it says home style I'm not sure but anyways it's chicken and wild rice this is one of my favorite soups and they don't have it all the time so I bought two of these and they were on sale today these are really good like on a cold night and you don't really feel like cooking much or it's just me or whatever this with a grilled cheese or just some crusty bread or whatever this is just an easy option even for lunches and i got two spaghetti sauces and i'm about to drop it and bust it um it's tomato and basil and garlic i got two of those and we were completely out of cooking spray and i got two of those as well and i think that is it that is all i bought this should get us through probably seven, eight days, but some of this stuff will actually last over that. I just didn't want to jam pack my, um, my fridge and freezer up, especially since I'm going to be um, basically getting a new fridge and starting all over again, which I'm so super excited about, guys. It has been a long time coming. You guys know I got a new stove. And so now it's time to get my new fridge and uh, I will be one happy mom, one happy mom. So I hope you all are doing well. Please subscribe if you have not. I hope you enjoyed spending a little time with me today going to Audis and I'll be talking to you all again soon. Bye bye.